Hey guys, uh, welcome to your love reading. Uh, this is a love reading for Sagittarius, so this is a new love reading, okay? You can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for your September 2022. Uh, so this is for the Sagittarians that are currently talking to someone new, dating someone new, or started a relationship with somebody new. So we're going to take a look at um, what you guys need to know and love, the over energies regarding love here. And then we'll finish off the read to see, uh, take a look at your new person or new love or potential new love. Um, that you're dealing with or will deal with. Uh, we're gonna see, uh, you know, their feelings towards you, uh, their long-term intentions. So apply this to your own unique situation. Uh, when I say potential, it could be a situation that you're not dealing with anyone and you could be meeting this person in the future, okay? Apply this to your own unique situation, switch your roles if you want. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, take a look at your other placements. If you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post. Give this video a thumbs up, like this video, share this video, leave a comment down in the comment section below. If this message resonates, keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective uh, Sagittarius people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. So if you're looking for, um, a reading specific to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you book a private personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, Sagittarius, what do you have for Sagittarius in love? Tell me about Sagittarius in love for September 2022. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Sagittarius in love. What do we have for Sagittarius in love? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Sagittarius in love. Two of Pentacles and a King of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. So this could be you or that you could be dealing with someone here that is basically taking on a lot. Someone here is really busy. So I feel like when it comes to love, we have someone here that's not really ready for it. It could be indication with the Ace of Pentacles and the Lover's card here. This is an individual that's weighing the pros and the cons, whether to move forward into higher levels of commitment here with you, okay? So Two of Pentacles, King of Swords, Sleeper, Aquarius, Gemini. Maybe dealing with a Gemini here. You might even have those energies in your chart with the Ace of Pentacles here and the Lovers. There is someone here um, new that's in the picture here. It just seems like this person's figure, finger, figuring things out, you know. Uh, and like I said, so you could switch the roles. Maybe this is you, okay? With the Three of Cups and the Five of Cups. I don't know, you know, this is so interesting. I feel like this person feels like they can't make you happy. So I feel like whoever this is, you know, I feel like this is an individual that's really not really confident about themselves or confident in being in a, in a relationship. I do feel like they do want to do this, but then I feel like, like this person just, I guess this person's scared that they would disappoint you, okay? They were, they're scared that they would disappoint you, Sagittarius. The three, uh, two of Pentacles. Six of Swords, King of Swords, and the Hierophant, Taurus Energy. I do feel like this person wants to give this a shot, even though that this person's scared. They want to give this a shot, okay? Six of Swords and the Hierophant, Taurus Energy here, Ace of Pentacles here, and the Queen of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Sagittarius, you're meeting a soulmate here. Kings of Queen of Swords, this is a true pair. This is a very intellectual conversation. You guys could talk each other's ear off. You guys could talk story here, okay? The lovers and justice. Seems like, yeah, there is an energy of moving towards higher levels of commitment. Like, I feel like this person is scared that this person can't give you what you want or can't make you happy or that they will disappoint you, but they're going to try anyway. The three of cups here, Libra energy with the justice card, knight of swords, five of cups, and the knight of wands here. Yeah, so I feel like someone here is really sort of like charging towards their goal here or that someone here has plans or someone here has a goal in mind, okay? I mean, I feel like someone here is definitely taking a ton of action. Let's say if this person has been in this Two of Pentacles energies, 
for a while for a while i feel like this person's rushing in okay giving this a shot sort of like an energy of like you know what i have nothing to lose let me just try okay um so uh knight of swords libra aquarius gemini knight of wands aries Leo, Sag. could be dealing with another Sag here tell me about this new person you love that sagittarius is dealing with or will deal with what is this person like their over energies their feelings and intentions towards sagittarius sun moon rising venus signs for sagittarius right temperance sagittarius energy page of cups cancer scorpio pisces we have the emperor aries energy in the ten of cups we have the six of wands and the six of cups wow you guys might have a past life soul connection here a very 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 strong soul tie so I, I do feel like there will be an offer here okay um i do feel like someone here is perhaps listening to their guides and their ancestors here in regards to this even though this person's scared their ego might be kicking in a bit i feel like this person's going to give this a shot okay we have the emperor here in the ten of cups aries energy uh, Page of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Temperance, Sagittarius, Energy, and the Six of Wands here and the Six of Cups. It seems like you guys have a past life soul tie here. I don't, I'm not getting really a, an X energy here, okay? I do feel like this is a new person. It just seems like you guys have a deep soul connection here, okay? Temperance. Why is Temperance here? Why is Temperance here? All right, Two of Swords, Page of Cups, and the Eight of Cups. Hmm. I feel like this person's guides and their angels and their ancestors are asking this person to pay attention, telling them, asking them not to walk away either. Yeah, I do feel like this, this person is going to listen here. Yeah, it just seems like this person has a lot of fears. Yeah, because it could be in the, it, it, it could be a situation in the past that this person has given too much and they've been disappointed. Yeah, so I feel like this person's reflecting it right back at you in a way. The Emperor, Six of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, and the Ten of Wands. Mm. Yeah, I do feel like someone here gives a lot, and then someone ends up being dropped. So I feel like we have someone here who's, who's kind of trying to be careful, trying to be a bit skittish here, I would say. The Six of Wands, I mean, we have a lot of Sixes here, so this is telling me that there is some sort of balance here there is balance here okay especially with the uh with the justice card this could be a same-sex relationship doesn't have to be six of wands queen of pentacles capricorn taurus virgo six of cups and the queen of wands aries leo sagittarius energy It just seems like this person sees you very highly. Intelligent, smart, grounded, funny, okay? Has their shit together. Yeah, but like I said, I feel, feel like this. there's an energy that, yeah, this person is just scared, paranoid, paranoid about getting hurt. So yeah, I just, I just feel like, yeah, I just feel like this person's scared, but they're, they're gonna give it a shot anyway. Okay, so Sagittarius, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video, like this video. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'll speak, uh, I'll speak to you guys in the next one. All right, thanks guys, bye.